Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So many of you guys have asked me, either via email, comments, or asking me on my live streams to make a video about the coronavirus. And at first I was a bit hesitant because Mike the Vegan already made a very excellent video about this a couple weeks ago. But since he made that video, new information's come out, so I'm gonna update what he said a little bit more here. And remember, I'm not a medical doctor or a public health expert, but I'm gonna try my best here. But it is a virus, like the cold virus, which many of us have experienced in our lives and like the SARS epidemic that was caused by a virus too back in the early 2000s. So like SARS, the origins can be traced back to animals in China, specifically animals in wet markets, which we'll look at more in a second. So when Mike the Vegan made his video, the best thinking at the time is that the original animals that had this virus were snakes. Well, now the best evidence suggests it was bats who were the host virus animal, which later gave it to an intermediary animal since there were no bats being sold in the wet markets at the time. And it was that intermediary animal that gave the virus to humans. All right, so now let's get back to these Chinese wet markets because they really are the crux of the problem. They're the point source where a virus transfers from one species, an animal, to a human. And, and it, it just taking that aside for a moment here, just wet markets are just a horrific, barbaric, inhumane practice. And this just totally needs to be addressed. And this is why I'm making this video. So anyway, wet markets, it's as the name implies, it's really wet there. There's animals being slaughtered. I mean, they keep live animals. They slaughtered them for customers so they could take them home fresh. So you have live animals sitting next to dead animals and you have shoppers walking by breathing in the infected aerosols of infected animals. And it's just a, a breeding ground for virus transmission. One thing I didn't mention about these wet markets is not only do they have all these live animals for sale there for slaughter, they have live wild animals for sale and slaughter too. And I point this out because this isn't the first time a potential global pandemic was bred in a Chinese wet market. Remember I referred to SARS from the early 2000s. Its origins start off in bats and it was later transmitted to civets, which later on it got transmitted to humans. And also, do you remember the bird flus like H5N9? Those two are zoonotic viruses, meaning they were transmitted from animals to humans in Chinese wet markets. You might be thinking, birds, bats, how random? Well, actually not. Virologists consider bats and birds reservoir species for viruses with pandemic potential. So I'm sure many of you guys are watching right now, especially you vegans, such as myself, I, I feel the pain, I feel your frustration just seeing how unnecessary all this killing of animals is, all this um, sickness and death that's being inflicted upon humans needlessly. And these pandemics aren't bred by like broccoli or potatoes, it's bred in animals. And you guys that are not vegans might be watching, hey, that's China's fault, that doesn't happen here. No, we're creating a same kind of pandemic risk here in the developed world by those who are participating in eating meat here. It's a well-known fact that enormous quantities of antibiotics are given to livestock because of the very unsanitary conditions of factory farming. And this is on the rise, this use of antibiotics, particularly in developing nations. But this affects people worldwide because this overuse of antibiotics in livestock is creating drug resistant superbugs, meaning we could die from having just common infections because such infections will no longer respond to antibiotic drugs. And all this just further increases my belief that the world would be so much better off if people were simply just to stop eating meat. We don't need to eat meat. We don't need to have potential pandemics coming out of Asia every several years. Pandemics that could take out tens, if not hundreds of millions of people. And we would like our antibiotics to continue working in the future too. And all these huge, huge major health risks to humans would not even be issues if people were to stop eating meat. And it would help to serve our fight against climate change. Remember, animal agriculture is the number one cause of greenhouse gas emissions. And the United Nations has ranked vegan and vegetarians, the top two diets as far as being climate friendly diets. So now we have yet even another reason for people to stop eating meat. It's so frustrating as a vegan, seeing our 
world get destroyed and potentially millions of humans' lives at risk, and not to mention the billions of animals that die needlessly in order for people to continue consuming meat when we just there's just no reason it's not sustainable any longer it needs to change soon so anyway please leave your questions and comments down below share with me your thoughts about how i'm feeling here how do you feel so let me know if there's any ideas you have to pressure china to to shut them down any help is is appreciated down here so leave your comments hit like share this video with people talking about coronavirus until next time guys remember boat vegan Oh